All right, so the recording just started. So for everybody that is not able to make it today, we'll make sure that everybody gets the recording somewhere early next week. So I'll, I'll quickly do the introduction again, because I think the audio wasn't working properly <laughs> when we started. So uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to wait a couple more minutes before we actually uh, dive into the presentation and the demo, uh, just to make sure that everybody uh, has plenty of time uh, to join uh, the webinar. Uh, feel free to drop in the chat where you're all coming from. Uh, always nice to see uh, where you guys are uh, located. Uh, today, I have Ali Nodé with me. He's product uh, expert at EpicBase and comes with years of uh, experience in the in the restaurant industry. So he's the right guy to join me today and to show you everything about uh, internal ordering at central production units uh, by using uh, EpicBase. Hi, everyone. Happy to be here. Okay, we're three minutes past 11. What do you think? Shall we? We should, uh, we can start. All right, cool. So first of all, before we really dive into the presentation, um, just want to wanna let you guys know that everything that we do here at Epic Base um, is related to uh, our core values. Um, and these core values um, are actually looking at how we can help you as uh, hospitality uh, people. So by using internal ordering at your central production units, um, what we are helping you with is actually to increase your operational excellence uh, and also improve your uh, margins. So uh, we actually have uh, two of our values that are covered by, by using internal uh, ordering. Uh, but more uh, about those benefits uh, in a couple of minutes when we go over them. So today, what we will be uh, showing you is, first of all, uh, what is a central production unit? Then we will go over the benefits of a CPU uh, for FMB or uh, restaurant brands. And last but not least, we'll show you a demo of how you can use uh, internal ordering at central production units to increase your uh, operational uh, excellence or efficiency. So first of all, what is a central production kitchen or central production unit? It is actually a commercial kitchen uh, where meal components or entire dishes are being prepared. So. Imagine you run uh, a pizza chain and you have a dozen of locations uh, across city like London, for example. Instead of having 12 kitchens installed at those locations, uh, you can make use of a central production kitchen uh, where you have one well-equipped uh, kitchen where all the preparations uh, take place. So like uh, all the dough, uh, is being made or where all the vegetables and other toppings are already chopped and are then sent out to your um, restaurant units. Um, it really helps you uh, to prepare everything in batches and it will reduce costs at your outlets as well. But we'll dive, uh, we'll dive into that uh, later. Um, so production happens at the central production kitchen and uh, ingredients or uh, entire dishes are then distributed uh, to your outlets. Now, it really, uh, it really improves the, the efficiency. Um, instead of having 10 different kitchens across town or, uh, and 10 different chefs uh, preparing the same stuff, you actually have one central uh, kitchen where everything happens uh, at the same time. Um, so it mainly reduces costs. You, you only have one really well-equipped uh, kitchen. You have less kitchen staff that you need to hire. And last but not least, it really improves consistency across locations because you know that everything is uh, prepared at one location in bigger batches. So everything that is sent out to your outlets uh, all comes with the same uh, quality and consistency. 
Now we see more and more uh, restaurant brands turning to central uh, production units, and it's mainly related to all of the benefits that it that it brings. Um, as we already mentioned, there is a reduced overhead and. It obviously increases uh, profits. Uh, like I already mentioned, if you only need one well-equipped kitchen instead of having uh, a dozen of locations all with their own uh, kitchen and kitchen staff, uh, you can imagine how we can reduce uh, your costs, um, thus increasing your uh, your pro uh, your profits. Um, you can ensure uh, consistency. You know perfectly which batches uh, need to be prepared. And those batches are then delivered to, to those outlets. So uh, <laughs> quality at outlet A equals uh, quality at outlet B, at outlet C, uh, et cetera. Um, it also helps you um, whenever there is an increased uh, demand, a central production unit is a perfect way to actually scale along um, that increased uh, demand. Um, it's it's also easier to make sure that your central production kitchen is set up in a way that suits your production best. Uh, it, uh, you all know that if you open up a new location, um, a new outlet, um, these locations aren't always suitable to fit in uh, a kitchen in a way that's actually uh, efficient, you know. Uh, central production units are often in areas where you have more space, uh, where you don't pay as much as those uh, um, A locations. Uh, it gives you plenty of space uh, to, to set up your kitchen in a way that it works much more efficiently. And last but not least, uh, it also gives you extra business opportunities. Uh, we have several customers uh, that have uh, central production kitchens uh, set up. And instead of just preparing uh, semi-finished or finished dishes to send out to their outlets, they also uh, started producing uh, products that are actually uh, sold to retail uh, locations and um, they now have extra lines of profit by selling products to supermarkets, uh, etc. So it comes with extra business opportunities without the need of uh, extra extra investments. Um, yeah, this sounds this sounds. Um, I mean, uh, you you were spot on on a few things, of course, uh, when it comes to overheads and decrease or reduced overhead, but. Um, for me, it mainly is about consistency and making sure that everything is centralized. Um, deliveries are centralized. Of course, fresh vegetables and so on will be delivered to the location itself, but the majority of goods will be delivered to central location, which also gives you um, more control about over your inventory and what you have and how you're going to um, prepare those dishes. And again, the consistency of the product. I mean, you you had a great example of that the pizza um pizza doughs but also the toppings if you have someone in the production unit chopping the vegetables making sure everything that presentable in the way that you want it and if you go to location a you have the same pizza and the same presentation that you can location b it might seem silly but it it gives people that recognition and makes them ah I had this dish, I will come back and I will make sure that I, uh, uh, no matter where I go, I have the same dish. That's basically the idea. Um, and that's, that's for mm -hmm. me, the, one of the biggest advantages of having a central production unit. Yeah. I'm glad that you mentioned uh, inventory uh, as well. Um, because indeed, if you have uh, fresh ingredients being delivered to a dozen of outlets, or you can centralize it and you only have it delivered to your central production unit, it's much easier to keep control of it mm -hmm. and eventually uh, reduce your waste uh, as well, just okay. because it's uh, controlled in a, in a, in a central uh, location. Exactly. I mean, that, that's, uh, that's the idea to make sure that 
whatever you have that you use it, you don't have overstock, you just you're not left with a lot of waste. So that's that's for me one of the biggest advantages. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Now that we know what a central production unit is and what the benefits are of a central production kitchen or a central production uh, unit, I think it's time to uh, show you how Epic Base can help you uh, with such a setup. So what we did was uh, we set up um, an Epic Base account where we have two different outlets and we have one central production unit. Of course, Epic Base can scale along with you. Uh, we have customers that have three, four, five different central production units and each central production unit is um, receiving orders from yeah, like 20, 30, 40 different uh, outlets. So um, we can definitely scale along with you. Uh, but just for the sake of this example, we try to keep it simple. We have two outlets, one central production unit. Um, so yeah, let's dive right into it. Step one is to place an order from your location to the central production unit. For that, I'm logged in as an outlet user. So I'm going to start an order, create a new order, pick central production unit as my internal supplier, then I will get a list of the ingredients or the recipes that I can order. I'm going to pick quantities that I want. Notice that Epic Base automatically calculates the difference between what you already have in stock, which is your aggregated stock, and the par quantity, which you have indicated in a system. You can just simply click on it, and it will fill out your shopping cart. Once you're satisfied, pick your delivery date, delivery time, and send an email to your central production unit. I will do the same thing from a second location. So I'm gonna to switch the locations to my other restaurant and I'm gonna place an order from that restaurant to the central production unit as well. And we'll do the same steps, pick central production unit as my supplier. I can see the list. I will just fill my inventory until the par levels. I am satisfied when I needed 30 years and I'm gonna email this to the central production unit. Once we have placed the orders to the central production unit, now it's the time to look at the orders in our internal ordering module. Now I'm logged into the central production unit and I will open the incoming orders and I can see the two orders I just placed. I can quickly look at the content of the order, but what I'm interested in obviously is the aggregated overview. In here, I can quickly see if I really have outstanding orders, external orders that is, or um, do I have enough inventory to really create uh, these recipes? As you can see, um, there are some of them showing in red, meaning that I don't have them in inventory. So I can quickly select all of them. I can also select both of the orders. So I can have both orders, select all items and generate a bill of materials. Epic Base will look at your inventory and then will tell you if you have enough inventory to fulfill those orders. As you can see here, some of the items I already have sufficient stock of and some of them I need to place an order of. To place an order externally to my suppliers, I can simply click on Generate Order Document. Epic Base will then take me to my order module, place everything neatly in that shopping cart with the correct quantity, and I can just simply order these things after I selected the delivery date and delivery time. I can just email them to my supplier. Once I have all the needed ingredients to fulfill the orders, I can simply select the incoming orders from my locations, select 
everything I want to produce, and I can plan a production right from our internal ordering module. In here, you have a few options, starting with a name. Then you have the option to increase or decrease the quantities that you want. You can also assign these to different team members and different uh, workstations. You also have the ability to aggregate the sub recipes in there. Epic Base will tell you if you have sub recipes with sufficient stuff or if they are sub recipes that you need to produce more. Once you're, set, once you're satisfied with your production, you can just simply click on Create Production Plan and it will take you to our Production Plan module. You can then activate your production plan. And if you're about to start it, you can start this production. You will get prompted to pick who is doing these productions. And you can simply start by clicking start. And if you're not sure what you need to get from the inventory to start a production, you can simply look at the instructions, which has a really nice checklist with the correct quantities that you need to get from your inventory. You can simply start a production. We'll also keep track of the time, how long you spent on producing these things. And once you're done, you can simply drag them or mark everything as done and finish your plan. Epic Base automatically generates a lot number and it gives you the option to indicate the expiry date. Once you're done, you can also change the quantities of produced recipes. Maybe something didn't add up during the production. Maybe you have less than Epic Base told you. You can simply change this. Once you finish it, Epic Base will also give you the ability to print out production labels. It automatically calculates or tells you the quantities you need. For example, if I click on this, it will tell me I need to print five of these because I created five. Here, you can also change or edit the lines the way you want it. Once you're done with the production, you also have the ability to download the report, which is an Excel sheet which shows you when it was started, when it was completed, and the time it was spent for producing your production plan. All right, so that was the entire process from A uh, to Z. Um, I can imagine it saves um, operations a lot of time. Uh, I think if you look at the, the, the dynamic of just being able to place your order and not having to think about what you need to do, that's already a big advantage for me. And then the aggregating order that you can put everything together at the central production unit to make sure that you know, oh, do I have enough inventory? Do I need to order? And just simply clicking and then ordering and placing your orders externally just saves a lot of time um, in my experience mm -hmm. to just uh, having to go when you're walking first and look at <laughs> and see if you have anything or not. Uh, and it's actually cool because uh, that way your, um, uh, your outlets also have to deal less with, with external suppliers. And they know that for certain... Uh, yeah, for the majority of things, they can just use those internal uh, orders uh, and don't have to rely on external suppliers. I'm quickly going to see if there are uh, there are uh, some questions already. I don't see any questions so far. So if you have some, uh, feel free to use the the chat uh, button um, or the Q and A uh, button that you see on your screen. Uh, we'll try to answer as many of your questions. I think it's Friday and everyone is too busy right now <laughs> to ask any questions. So. 
but that's a good thing because that means everything was explained uh, very well. <laughs> of course, if there are any questions after the webinar, mm -hmm. I'm also here to help. So please don't uh, don't just keep it. No. Yeah, we had a good mix of uh, people that are already using Epic Base and looking into the central production unit. Uh, we also have uh, quite some people that aren't using Epic Base uh, yet. Um, early next week, we will send out the recordings. Uh, feel free, like Ali already mentioned, if you have any questions, just reply to that email. Uh, let us know what questions you might have. Uh, and we'll make sure that uh, product experts uh, such as Ali get back to you uh, with all the answers uh, that you need. Still no questions in the in the chat. So I think we can call it a day. I think we can yeah. call it a day. All right. Awesome. Uh, I would like to thank everybody for attending. Um, yeah. And let's see each other soon. Have a great Friday, everyone. And, um, a good weekend. And a good weekend. Bye. See you guys.